In the United States, our buildings are responsible for over 40% of carbon emissions. People aren't aware of this. You know, we think about our cars and other things that, as the things that are producing carbon emissions. But silently around us, all of our buildings, our homes, the, our office buildings, schools, hospitals, they're all burning energy. And that is a big part of the climate problem. I'm a very active proponent, I, I guess, of Passive House because it's just clear to me that it's a very powerful way to transform buildings into a form of climate action. In the clean energy space, we're, we're seeing solar panels and wind just plummeting cost and um, performance rising really rapidly. We need to uh, take a cue from that um, and harness science, essentially, to build better buildings. And that's what Passive House does. In order to meet the Paris Accord targets, we need to flatten out emissions by 2020 and then see emissions reduced by half every decade afterward. The moral imperative for action is clear. All of us, governments, businesses, consumers, will have to make changes. More than that, we will have to be the change. So it blocks the sun. From I am an environmentalist. I was an engineer for about 10 years. I have been now in construction for about 10 or 11 years. Uh, I like to work with my hands and I like, I like construction a lot and wanted to take it to sort of another level to, to really do something meaningful in the community. Once you build a house, hopefully it's gonna last for a very long time and you kind of have one opportunity to really fix the energy consumption of the house. And you lock in that energy consumption for yeah, 100 years. And so for me, that was a very compelling idea. So we decided to do this house that way. So it is an airtight house, and so we have um, continuous ventilation. So we're delivering fresh air to the house all the time. Might be a little, little challenging to film in here. So this is the um, heat recovery ventilator. It's bringing in an incoming fresh air from outside and it's filtering that air. So this is delivering fresh air to the house continually. The Passive House movement is really taking off across the Northeast and across the United States. What we are doing here in New York, we're trying to create a market to do very deep retrofits of existing buildings. The first piece of the equation for me is really reducing the energy we, we consume. And once you reduce the energy you consume in, in your building by 50, 60, 70 percent, then it becomes much easier and possible to meet that energy demand with renewable energy, be it solar, be it wind farms. There's a real possibility that Passive House could scale up quick enough to create a zero net carbon built environment by 2050, which is what we need to do. I'm sure it was the same thing when the first houses had to be plumbed and have electricity. Oh, this is a stupid idea and we're never gonna be able to, it's too expensive, you know, right? I mean, it's the same thing. It's just uh, we're, we're working on how to make the energy more sensible.